everybody, welcome back for more Let's Play Paper Mario. I am Hunter, the one who was there, fair, and a polar bear. And in the last part, we reached Mount Rugged after doing some things unrelated to getting to Mount Rugged. We also encountered Paracary here, who said he has lost three letters, and now we are going to give them back. Because we're nice like that. Oh, that's the one. Oh, thanks for finding it. I'm so relieved. Ah, actually, I'm also looking for two other letters I may have lost. It wasn't my fault, really. If you could find them, could you? Yeah, yeah thank, thank you so much. And we have those two letters in fact here. Here's one of them. Ah, there we go. That's one of the letters I dropped. By accident. Thanks so much. Really? Of course, still one more letter left. If at all possible, could you please find it too? I'm really scouring this area down here. So far, I haven't had much luck. Alright, and, uh, yeah, we got the last one right here. Dramatic zoom in. I wonder why. The last letter! You found it! Now I've got all the letters I've lost. Today. Oh, thank you so much. You're a lifesaver. I wish there was some way I could repay you for your help. Well, actually... To be honest, I just haven't just lost letters of Mount Rugged. I may have sort of dropped them all over the Mushroom Kingdom while I was flying. <laughs> yeah. You know, you're good at finding letters. You think you could keep an eye out during your travels? In return, I will offer you whatever help I can. Let's take it. Oh, praise the stars! I wasn't looking forward to having to find all those letters myself. No, sir. I'll do my very best to help. You shall not regret this. Alright, so now with that, we get our... One, two, three, fourth partner? Yeah, fourth partner. Paracarry. Press down C to have him carry Mario and fly oh, for a short time. He can carry Mario over short gaps that he couldn't jump across by himself. While in battle, he can attack with skydive or smash on enemies using his shell shot ability. Now, onward! Oh, but hey, by the way, if you want to deliver a letter to someone, just speak to that person. I have to be next to you at the time for it to work, Val. Keep it in mind, alright? No, actually, he says onward, but we're actually going to go backwards. <laughs> because, as you know, one of the letters we got was from Merlin, and we're going to deliver it to him to get a star piece. I'm pretty sure every time you deliver a letter to someone, usually you get a star piece from it. Why we get a star piece? Well, as you can see, we have nine star pieces, and getting the one from Merlin will grant us number ten. Remember what happens when we get ten star pieces? That's right, we're going to get the peekaboo badge! And we're doing it now, so I don't have to do it later. Because that's how I roll. So what I'm going to do is actually meet you at North... Toe Town, where I'm also going to buy a badge from the badge shop. Or two. Or maybe three. I don't know. Yeah. It happens. Train ride! Woo! Okay, okay, well. I wasn't doing it for that long, was I? I don't... Maybe. Who knows? Anyways, yeah. Back in Toe Town. Now we can get the D-Down Pound badge. And this is the last badge we can get for now. Stop. And he says he's all out. I'm going to double check though, just to be sure. Right, let's go down and back up, and then go back to the badge shop, and if he doesn't have anything, then he is actually all out. So let's see... Yep, okay, he's all out. So now let's go to Merlin's house and deliver that letter, shall we? Yes. We shall. Of course, we have to go around the other side to do it, otherwise it doesn't work. If you want me to predict the future, talk to me from across the table. Well, that's not his voice at all. Merlin, are you an imposter? Alright, so let's give this letter to him. Another letter duly delivered. A postman's job is never done. Wow, I completely forgot Paracarry's voice within the span of two minutes. That's amazing. Hmm? Who's it from? Yes. Hmm. Oh, my granddaughter, Merlin. She recently entered a family business. Yes. Hmm. Is that so? Oh, I see. Interesting. Yes. She opened up her business at Dry Dry Outpost, deep in the desert. Yes. It's located somewhere quiet off the main drag. She seems to be keeping busy. That's good to hear. Yes. Thank you so much for bringing this letter. I'll give you this. Now we get a star piece. Excellent. So now with that star piece, we're going to go to... Lovely's house, I do believe, at Shooting Star Summit, so... I will see you there! Alright, and we're here. 
Let's go inside. Actually, before I do that, let me de-equip the speedy spin badge, which I put on just to get over here quickly. Alright, speedy spin. What did I have it on before? Yeah, smash charge. Alright. And now my nose is stuffed for some reason. That's, that's just wonderful. Alright. Let's go inside. Hello. How are you doing? I'm the famous Marlow, I should he start summit gun and he start pieces house while my badges for him. Yes indeed I do and I will. Which one are we gonna get? Uh well no. This. Yes. Or this. This works too. Maybe later, but for now this. I'm going to exchange Pikaboo for ten star pieces. The number of batch points you need to equip is three, and yes I do want it gimme. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. I'm not going to equip it right away because I do want to see what the damage dodge badge does first, but yes, we finally have that goddamn thing making the barrier for the most part completely useless. For people who haven't who have played this game before anyways. That's why I tell you he's the most useless partner because if you've played this game before, you won't have any use for his knowledge except for the attack and defense stats, which really you could probably figure out by yourself with math. So, uh, is there anything else I'm trying to think? Um, nope! Okay, back to Mount Rugged. Bop! Okay, and we're back at the train station. Mount Rugged, Mount Rugged passengers, bloop to bloop. Thank you, good sir. Alright, save, and now we can use. Well, now we're going to use Paracarry to help us with things. Let's heal because it's schizophrenic. Uh, yeah, we didn't need to heal. I knew it. All right, so now that we have Paracarry, we can do a few, get a few new badges and a few new things. Uh, I think a total of three things. Or two things optional, one thing mandatory. Yeah. All right, let's. So let's actually run into this multi mole on purpose. So, first we can show off Paracarry's abilities, like this one. This is the shell shot, I believe, which basically allows you to attack anything and do a pretty good amount of damage, I'd say. Yeah. Alright, now let's see if this... Uh, well, I failed at that, so... Uh... Oh man, I'm gonna do nothing by accident. Actually, let's kick him. Alright, so yeah, there's that one too. They're okay, I guess. Well, actually, he's kind of the strongest one we have right now, aside from Bombette. So, let's actually run into this guy and have him attack us, please. Um, uh, well, let's get rid of a couple of these guys, alright. Oh, well, I missed. Yeah, and if you miss, you basically lose <laughs> the everything, so actually, let's just do this. Alright, damage dodge, work with me. And I missed! And I missed again! Okay, I am terrible today with this, okay. Boom. I'm gonna have Paracarry do nothing. So I really wanna see what this does. Does this... Mm. I, I wanna see what this does. I refuse to do anything until I see what this does. Oh, yep, okay, it decreases your damage by one. Okay, that was a waste. <laughs> Yeah, okay, yeah, I'm, I'm, I don't see any practical use for it. That's being de-equipped. Actually, wait, let me think. That is a nice thing, but... Is it worth having on? I'm going to say no. Primarily because I really want the Pikachu badge right now. Yeah, put that thing on. Actually, you want no. Leave it off until you guys decide if you want me to use it. Because if I do use it, I don't plan on using a Mario anymore. But if I don't, I plan on using a Mario. So you can either have me get the full detail bios on enemies with Mario, or you can just have it so that the HP shows. I'm actually contemplating not using the badge, even though I just bought it. <laughs> Mostly because... I haven't tried to do a run without it. 
I've always got the badge to put it on and never use Gumbario again. So, yeah, let's whack him again. Let's whack this guy because then we can get another whack a bump. Also, I'm going to heal up the block. But because I'm lazy and don't feel like it, I'm going to do something weird. Hammer space, activate! Okay, maybe not hammer space, but just complete lack of logic and how that worked. Yeah, I'd say this, I'd say that would be the best way to put it instead of hammer space. All right, um, I guess we should have that. Have we? No, I'm, th I'm, I'm just thinking here. Yes, even though I've planned everything out, I need to plan out. I'm still thinking about things. This is what happens when I play this game. I still think even when I, when I feel prepared. That's just me in a nutshell, really, I guess. So, as you can see there, there's another badge we can get with Paracarry, so let's get that thing, shall we? Yes. It shall. And this is one badge we're actually gonna have to use. It's the Quake Hammer. Slightly damages all enemies on the ground or ceiling. Why do we need this? Well, you know how those cliffs have kind of that dickish defense stat that we can't seem to pierce through all that good? Well, the Quake Hammer, which takes one badge point. Good. Um... You know what, fine, I'll de equip damage dodge. For that, also. This? Hmm. Like, well, we have paracarry now, so I don't think I need that, but. Yes. Let's do that. And, uh,. Not this guy, we're gonna test it out on the uh, cleft over here. Show you how it works. Hey buddy, come over here, I wanna fight. Oh, it does, it does jack. Hmm. If only there were some way to get through to him. Slamo! There we go. Yeah, I, I'm assuming the reason why it breaks through the defenses like that because it goes attacks them from under them, so it kind of like doesn't work. Um, I'm gonna pull out Bombette so I can just get rid of this guy. Hey, buddy, come over here, right here. Yeah, but, well, that's a little bit far. Okay, well now I'm just gonna ignore you. Now I'm just gonna ignore you. You don't even deserve to be recognized. Oh, hey, he's following me. Pull up. Oh, that was close. Ah, jeez. And yeah, we need Paracarry to get this bubble if you hear a voice by Dom DeLuise himself. Even though not really. I don't see anyone else here. Alright, you're talking to me. It's been a long while since I first came here from my home in Flower Field. But you're still the very first person to speak a word to me. Nobody ever notices me. The few people I actually see just think I'm blooming. I love a good conversation. Here, take this as thanks. This is a precious seed. Keep it well, and remember me. Right, thank you for that. Please grow my seed with care. It will help you one day. I'm sure it will. Actually. Yeah, it actually will. <laughs> He's not lying. He's not lying. No, it is actually going to have to help us. That was that mandatory thing we need Paracarry for, because, well, you'll see. Probably next year. At the rate I'm uploading these videos, oh man, that's the thing, because it's so funny. I, I, that was going nowhere. Ugh, that was terrible, and you should feel bad about that. Alright, so now with Paracarry, we can get this star piece that we saw over there. Over here, right here. Surrounded by coins. Oh, nice. We get money and a collectible MacGuffin thing that nobody wants except for me, apparently. <laughs> yeah, so let's run away, and now we're going to move on with the getting out of this mountain. Out, off, the, of, out, elf. That, that, that. Words that I cannot speak with my mouth properly. It's just wonderful. Okay, yeah. So, yeah. The word of the day is, yeah. Because I have nothing else interesting to say, apparently. Alright, um, something topical. What is something topical? Um, I know it's been a while since I actually talked about this series, but, uh, Halo 4 looks alright. Kinda looks like Metroid Prime for some reason, at least one area does. And, 
Well, this guy's creepy. Let's just keep oh, he's looking at me. Well, this is not right at all. Yeah, I'm okay, so that's... Let me, like, let me take him out. Let me take this guy out. So yeah, Halo 4 looks kind of okay. I've heard that it's basically like all the other games, except the story is a bajillion times better. Well, Halo was okay in story anyways, like, it's much better than... Call of Duty? I I don't know. I hear it's I hear it's good. And it's good. Yeah. So I'm contemplating about getting it for Christmas. There we go. Okay, done. Right? Fine. Yeah. Alright. That's uh, Okay. What now? This bolt this this buzzard here has a cowboy accent, and I don't know why. And not my voice, his text has a cowboy accent. <laughs> yes. That's how that works. Yep, very similar. You look a lot like this fella Mario who's on Bazaar's wanted poster. Now give, what's your name? Okay. This is the first of many options throughout the game where you're given uh, a selection of names. Basically, if you say your actual name or something that'll basically lean you into the direction. I think if you say Luigi, he'll still catch on. It's like, hey man, no, Luigi wears red. If you say, oh wait, well, just to be on the safe side, I'm going to say my name. I think Peach, Princess Peach will doubt you and Luigi will say, well, oh, okay. But yeah, I'll just say Mario. That way, I can instigate a battle with him. Because yeah, I'm an XP person guy. So here we have Buzzard, the buzzard, the vulture. Buzzer the vault, whatever, whatever he is. And, uh, the dogs are barking, that's great. This is Buzzer, he guards man rugged. Wow, that's one big bird. Max HP is 40, attack power is 3, and defense power is 0. If you get caught in these clutches with sharp claws, you'll lose 4 HP. Try to wiggle out of his grip. His special attack is flapping his wings to reach great wind. This attack damages your partner members, too. But he was hatching eggs, wasn't he? Is it possible that he's really a she? I don't wonder. This is... That's weird. Weird theories, Gumbario. Very weird theories. Now we use the power to defeat him. Good. Um, well, it was only five that time. Okay. Now we gotta mash A so we don't die. Ah, oh, poopy fingers. Darn it, I didn't want that to happen. And we can't change members, so. Um, testing time! Does this work? No, it doesn't. Darn. Well, that was a waste. Alright, so now he's gonna grab on his claws. We gotta run away. Yeah. And that's the one attack you, I think you can completely avoid altogether without getting damaged. Alright, so let's use this again. Because we can, and it seems to be effective. Oh, uh, yeah, that does damage no matter what. Okay. So, let us see. What should we use? Uh, actually, let's let's switch out to Paracarry because he's the only enemy besides he, he's the only enemy. Yes, we are alive with enemies. Well, actually, technically we do, but he's the only partner besides Gambaro that can do anything to this guy. So, yeah, let's use that. Also, his target is kind of big, so he's he's a hit. Run away! Oh God, no! And this is what happens if you hit. Ooh, that, that, that's hurt. That is hurts. Um, time to refresh. You know, I could use an item for this battle, but uh, it appears I don't feel like it at the moment, or at all, really. But I guess I could, should conserve as much as I can. After all, I did say I was going to try to go out. Okay, well, that didn't really hurt. Uh, I did say I was going to try to get all the badges in the badge shop, so... Yeah. Let's power bounce this sucker. Oh, that, that wasn't bad. Alright, skydive? Yeah, I feel like the skydive is a bit difficult to pull off, so... Ah! Uh, oh. That was close. Okay. I think at this point we could just jump on him repeatedly, not have to worry about a thing. If he 
gets down to the point where I'm in critical mode, though, I will probably heal. I'm just gonna flap. Oh, so close to completely avoiding that attack. Ooh. Ah. That sucks. That really sucks. Yeah, I think I can win. Ooh, that was nice. I did the two finger thing, and it seemed to work good. So, yeah, we can finish him off. We don't need to use anything. That's, that's always a good thing. Alright, so we defeated Buzzer. Gets a nice bounty of experience, too. 64 star points, symbolism. Not really. Yow! I got whooped! The, well, goodbye. Hope you enjoy your nice, uh, foreverness down in that wherever you are right now. I guess. Alright, so, uh, we defeated Buzzer. Yeah! We're completely off Mount Rugged now. So, next time on Let's Play Paper Mario, after we save and heal up, we are going to be heading into the worst place you could possibly ever be in this kind of situation. Well, the worst place you ever imagined you will. And point is, desert! Because unintentionally making references to Mario 3 is hilarious. Spoilers, the third level is not a water level, surprisingly, I know, right? So until then, see you later, and goodbye.